everyone and happy February. It is Friday night. I was planning on doing this video in the morning, uh, but I'll be honest, I'm in a mood and I need a little cheering up. So I'm doing the video tonight and talking a little bit about millinery and I might hit a little bit of fanciful utility at the end. So I have a stack of hats and some bonnets. I just added a whole bunch of hats to the shop. Um, I think there's nine whole pieces in there right now. I don't think I've ever had that many in the shop at the same time. Um, it's kind of cool seeing a full shop. Um, it's also pretty terrifying. <laughs> um, yeah, terrifying. <laughs> that's another story. Um, that's why I'm trying to cheer myself up. So, all right, first up, Ta -da! so this is uh, that classic fashionable tapered crown. Uh, it has the, the taper here. Uh, this is a nice smooth transition from the side of the crown to the top of the crown and a nice shaped brim. And you can see the shape there. Really cute little hat. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Let's see. Can we balance you there? We can. All right. Next up. Um, we're going to go with this one. So this one is also a tapered crown, but I had a little bit of fun here. Um, I tried a new technique of vining, and this takes this narrow plate and vines it in and out of the brim all the way around I'm really pleased with how this came out so it's just that subtle hint of extra pretty and uniqueness so from a distance you can tell there's something going on there um but you really got to get up close to go oh that's what's happening so i really i'm really pleased with how that came out Everybody hang out over there. And little Miss Clara's over here. Um, so I think she's had visitors. So besides the unique meow cry, um, there were crackers on the patio the other day when I came home with honey. And she was very, very talkative. So sorry. Hey. All right, next up. We have another tapered crown. This one, I need to trim the threads on, sorry. Has a nice soft transition from the side to the top and a little bit of doming at the top. I didn't make this one too flat. And then it has an edge that's braided, but it's actually, come on. It's two different widths of, of braid going on here. So I used both the, the braid from the hat itself and then the narrower braid that I have that I'm doing some really fun stuff with. So that's that one. Let me grab. Can I put that down here? Okay, so. All right, this is where you got to plan a little better. I think I was going to do it in the morning. Um, I should have brought the hank over. Anyway, now I'll get back to that. So then, next hat. Is this cutie? So it's the regular sized block I'm using for the tapered crown, but this narrower brim. This is a little bit of personality. I think this one's super sassy and will look great in the right impression. All right, so those are the hats. Little tapered crown. And with the braiding. The one with the vining. Okay. And then the plain one. All right. And each of these are um, this average to a smaller size head. Uh, if you add uh, an additional lining, um, 20 and a half, 20 and a half from memory. I think. 
20 and a half, 20 and a half, 20 and a half. And oddly enough, <laughs> this one came out just to 21 based on how they stack. All right, switch these around. And a lot of this is Civil War era. Um, I do have one later piece here and the rest I left in the other room. Um, sorry about that. So this one is a cottage style lower brim, but it does have this cute little flare to the top. I don't think the photos in Etsy quite capture that. But it is the cutest little flare. Um, I'll admit it was an accident. I wasn't. I wasn't even trying for it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do quite that again. But I really like it. It's cute. Um, the cheek tabs are narrow, but not super narrow. So this makes this um, pretty suitable for your, your mid to late 1850s, going into your early 1860s. Okay, let's give you a, a look at this shape here in the front. There we go. All right. I would not put this on a very oval face. I would go for a more round face, uh, round heart-shaped face for this. I don't know what she's doing over there. All right. And here is your classic spoon shape with the high brim. All right narrow but not overly narrow cheek tabs i can go much narrower than this um the cheek tab has that bit of a curve to it so it's really going to catch here and help hold it on okay. and this again just like the other is meant to um to perch really on the back of your head if you haven't seen it uh, check out the article about perch it's called got perch over on my blog okay and again um late 50s early 1860s and then I have one later capote okay this is done on that original little uh, block that I have that has that really awesome shaping to the back um, I've been enjoying that block I, I like um, this shaping that it gives to to the back of the crown and then the way uh, it has a, a more drastic curve and then shifts forward. I just really enjoy putting these together. Um, I'm not sure that they photograph well, but they are super, super cute in person. And this edge, oh my gosh. Um, come on, please capture that. There we go. I guess that's the best we're going to do. So this edge is... One I'm really proud of, it's um, narrow braid that I've plated together. So plated plate, braided braid. Um, and now I gotta remember, I think this is five or six. I can't even tell. I can't remember if I did five or six strands um, to put this together, but it makes a nice wide braid. Really cool edge. So would love that. So let's see, go back through. We've got the, the spoon. And we've got the cottage with the flare. And then, of course, the hats. And for those of you who are fanciful utility fans, I don't know if you've caught on, but over on uh, my history blog, I've been doing projects every other day for February. Um, the first one is super, super easy. Not really a fanciful utility thing. Anybody could do this. It's taking <laughs> this woven paper heart and it's actually a bookmarker. Um, and when you get over there, you'll be able to see where it connects in terms of 19th century history. But see how that works as a bookmark? That's super smart. So there's some information on making those over there. And then I only have a couple out here. So um, we did a heart-shaped needle book. Super cute. And this one should be active tomorrow, if I remember right. Same shape as the needle book, uh, but it's actually a book book. 
I really like this one. How cute is that? So you can do these um, with your fancy utility techniques. And there's a few other posts as well on uh, different little projects, okay? So that's it for tonight. I hope you have a good weekend. Uh, here it looks like it's going to be mild weather, I think. Um, certainly been crazy windy lately. Um, I will probably spend the weekend working on another capote. And after that, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a couple more millinery pieces or I have this nifty little basket I'm working on. We'll see. Talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.